I grew up on a boarding school campus in Massachusetts. My father was an English teacher, hi dad, and uh, my mother was a teacher as well. And as it turns out, my both my sisters, uh, I have two older sisters, and they both uh, majored in theater in college and so on, and then they got out and did assorted jobs and, and have now gone into teaching themselves. So. I don't know, we used to put on plays all the time as kids, you know. Uh, you know, and invite the neighbors and friends, and you know, and uh, I think it was at that point it was more a way to make some change, you know, to buy cigarettes or bubble gum or something. At that point, you know, but, you know, you have a captive audience at a boarding school, you know, because I mean, you grab all the faculty that happen to live there or the students, you know, and they feel sort of obligated, you know. And I, besides putting on plays, I'd sell anything that wasn't nailed down in the mm -hmm. in the house, you know, go out and set up a stand and out in front of our dorm and and persuade the students that live there to buy whatever possessions. My parents would come out of the house and I'd be sitting there with a table with, you know, the little odds and ends from our house that I just happened to pick up and thought that I might be able to sell for 50 cents out on the table, you know. <coughs> yeah, I left uh, Andover when I was 17, moved to New York and ended up driving a meat truck, actually. That was my college, was the College of Part-Time Jobs. Ended up doing a lot of a lot of different jobs, uh, shoveling manure at the Claremont Riding Academy, a great stable mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. First job I had in New York, I worked as a busboy in an all Greek restaurants. I remember I was the first of all the youngest guy that worked there, you know, by about ten years or something like that, and the only everyone else was Greek, you know, and uh, the only. Uh, kid that really spoke English, really. Everyone else spoke Greek or Spanish or something, you know. I had worked, you know, uh, ever since I was like 12 or 13, uh, you know, taking care of boats, you know, mowing lawns, crap like that, you know, and uh, so I, I, I knew myself and I think my parents knew that, you know, if things got tough, which they did, you know, I could always go out and find a job and earn, you know, the money that I needed to pay the rent and make sure that I was still kept in eggs, you know. And uh, so, no, they weren't really, they weren't really upset about the whole thing. And uh, I think that they knew that I wanted to go into theater and, and that's what I was looking towards. I think, question too, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, you know, into my fourth month of unemployment, you know, I started to question a little bit, you know, but uh, I really loved that part of my life when I was, you know, running around to taking a job for a few months, you mm -hmm. know, and then, and then looking for something that was completely different from that and trying that, you know. And I that's acting too, you know, t picking up a skin and putting it on and, 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 and really incorporating everything that goes along with that skin and then, uh, and then after a couple of months or something going on to something else and, and trying a new life. And I love that, you know, I mean, and the freedom that's involved in, in this business is, uh, you know, is limitless. When I look for a role, I don't look for whether this is a villain or whether this is a good guy and whether, you know, people are going to react negatively towards him or whether he's going to be sympathetic or so on. Um, I look for something that, uh, uh, I look for a character that uh, I have questioned, there are questions in the character that, that I'm interested in answering. And um, through the course of developing this person, I, I, I look for someone who, uh, I'm interested in making discoveries about. Um, and if they happen to be someone who's in, uh, unsympathetic, uh, that's okay if it's interesting enough finding out the reasons why he's unsympathetic.